All right. So while I'm toasting the cigar, we gonna have a talk about the brick. Yeah, we gonna talk about the brick while I'm uh, enjoying this fat bottom Betty. Mm. Yup, fat bottom Betty, Texas whiskey and some coke. Mm -hmm. We gonna talk about this break. Let's go. All right, so let's get down to it. We gotta have a real conversation about this break. Now, when we have this conversation, I really want y'all to be objective about what I'm actually saying. Now, oh yeah, big shout out, blowing smoke, blowing smoke cigar lounge. Let's focus on the brick if we're gonna do that, okay? When I speak on this channel, I'm speaking from a legal standpoint. For that moment in time, Okay, we're going to walk through some stuff. In that particular moment, we have her word, her video saying an individual gentleman asked her for her phone number. Mm -hmm. She declined. I'm assuming I don't know. We only know what she tells us. My assumption is there was a conversation back and forth. You know how, come on, fellas, let's be real. Ask for a number, she's saying, no. Uh, and, and we want to, well, instead of saying just no, I'm assuming that the conversation went a little further and there was probably some banter back and forth. Whether or not it was disrespectful, I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea. With that being said, allegedly the gentleman or individual man Grabbed the brick, slapped in the face with a brick. All right. From that moment, that snapshot in time, that is what I'm talking about legally. I do not care what happened 30 minutes prior. I do not care what happened the day after, so on and so forth. All right. Yes, we had a gentleman online who's also going viral, said he was one of the bystanders. It's just whatever all right my point of view what i do for a living how i think snapshot in time legally she had every right to defend herself let's just say let's just go ahead and throw it out there let's just say he asked for the number she said no at the same time five fingers thumb take his face smack at the same time she smacked him we have to ask ourselves a question. Legally, I'm not talking about how you feel. I'm not talking about the street law. I'm talking about the law of the land. Okay? A, he was walking around with a brick. B, he had to stop what he was doing and go get a brick. In the event that he was walking around with the brick, had the brick in hand all night long. Uh, Man, let me get your number. No, no, no. And then smack. If that were the case, this young lady, I think her name was Rashawna Taylor, something like that. She had an opportunity to make a choice, okay? She could have chose another way of doing about it. Hey, um, yeah, no, I'm just, you know what, let's just do, it. no, brick, okay. So she said no, got slapped with a brick. That's a hard one um, simply because that we do live in a world that's messed up like that, okay? However, if you are going to frequent in places of which are going to put you in a violent environment, you need the means to defend yourself. Period, point blank. Am I going to, t I will never under any circumstances tell any woman, you can't wear this, you can't go there. However, I will say, if you wear this, these goons might come out. If you go there, the goons might act a fool. However, if you really want to go there, you need to be able to defend yourself at all costs. Enjoy yourself. Okay? 
from there. The reason I say that is because the men who were standing around watching, legal now, have no legal obligation to Good Samaritan anyone at any given point in time. It is what it is. No legal obligation whatsoever to any man standing around watching this have to help her. With that being said, ladies, mm, 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 this is a good cigar. It's nice, it's sweet. I like flavor. You like flavor cigars, Fat Bottom Betty is a good one. That's the name of the cigar that it's not, just be careful, right? Now, ladies, your safety is your responsibility. Now, this is a lot of crap. A lot of people are spewing a lot of garbage. Well, if she was married, she wouldn't have to deal with that, dude. You can't be security for your wife 24-7. She got to go somewhere by herself. Well, she shouldn't have been in that environment. We have legal rights to go and party wherever we want to party, wherever that is, right? At the same time, I need you all to understand your safety is your responsibility. Now, there are people who have decided to go and look into her past and all of that stuff. Okay, fine. To look at her character. I need y'all to be careful with this. A lot of men and women are saying that that might be karma from the skits that she's been playing and slapping people in these skits and the stuff she's been saying and talking to men. Apparently, uh, one of her videos, she stated that she was a, I think she's a lesbian feminist. Okay, cool, whatever, right? However, her past has absolutely nothing to do with that snapshot in time legally. And that's what we got to be careful of. Don't forget, we get frustrated when we see court proceedings where cop kills unarmed black man or black woman or black person, okay? The defendant of the law enforcement officer that shot this unarmed black person is going to do his best to paint a picture of the victim or the individual that was shot without a weapon. They're going to do their best to paint a picture or narrative that they were not good people. They were not innocent people because they have a life of this. Well, the narrative is, well, if they have a life of this, would it be too far-fetched to think that they would resist arrest? Well, you know, they did this and they did that, so they're not completely innocent. We have to be extremely careful with that because here in this situation, I don't give a darn what she said to anybody. Even if she slapped him, if she slapped the dude and he slapped her back, oh, okay, well, mm, mm. equal Equal force, it is what it is. Don't slap nobody, you get slapped back. If you slap somebody, I expect you get slapped back. That's just me, right? However, mm. in the event, there was a verbal altercation. He slaps her with the brick. That is grounds for defense, okay? Can a brick kill you? Yes, it can. A brick can kill you just like banging someone's head in the ground can kill you. A brick can kill you just like punching somebody in the face while you're on top of them and their head hitting the ground can kill you. Okay? That is grounds for self-defense. Let's do that. In that moment, she would have been justified for self-defense. We have to be extremely careful about digging up the past of others to justify them being a victim in a moment that has nothing to do with the past. I want you all to be careful with that because we're going to be the same ones marching. When the same ones marching and chanting, when Ray Ray, you know, on this one particular day, he wasn't doing the foolishness. But Ray Ray get shot by the cops and he had no gun on him and he had no weed on him. But two weeks ago, he smoked marijuana. And the autopsy shows that he had marijuana in his system. That's going to be used in court via the defendants saying that or pushing a narrative that this individual was a bad individual. I want y'all to be real careful with this situation. 
do we have video evidence of the dude slapping her with a brick? I find it mighty strange. All these dudes standing around talking about why they didn't want to help because she's a troublemaker. Now, apparently in the, in the community, she ruffling feathers. Whoa. Flando Castile was ruffling feathers as well. On the civil rights side, but ruffling feathers nonetheless. When the cop killed him, it was a big thing that he had marijuana in his system, not marijuana in his hand. Not marijuana in the car, but marijuana in his system that can be in your system for as long as insert your knowledge there. Okay. Again, I love y'all. I want y'all to be extremely careful how we deal with situations like this. I understand. Yes. Look, okay, fellas. Okay. A lot of you, let's be real. A lot of you fellas is mad because she looked good and she a lesbian and she a feminist and she's saying that black men don't protect. Oh, okay. okay. Let, me, let, let, me just, let, me, let me let me get that right. Mm. Mm. It is not the black man's responsibility to protect black women that he does not know. It is all of our responsibility to defend ourselves. It is all of our responsibility to learn to legally defend ourselves. No one's coming to save you. Your safety is your responsibility. You know what time it is. This old from Body by Old Body by Technical Coffin Academy Coffin of Community Security. One thing's for sure. Two things for certain. We're going to put the paint where it ain't. And we're going to stay official like a referee. Yee!